What is going on, my reefing fam? March here. This is Fragbox TV. Oh, look at the store. Disaster. Boxes everywhere. Boxing day is over. But people ordered a bunch of things like Red Sea reefers and custom tanks and Maxi 170s. So we have all this fun stuff to kind of go through and unbox. Okay, if you came in during Boxing Day, you know that we're giving away an Apex Junior. The number of your raffle, if you are the winner, four. Uh, can you see it? Four six five. 280 congratulations come by the store hopefully you still have the other half of this this apex junior here is yours absolutely free okay in today's video i want to do a little recap we're coming to the end of 2022 and i want to do a little bit of a recap on hardware this year and the next video maybe i'll touch 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 that's not a word touch it on corals kind of my favorite coral but if you know anything about me or us here in the store Man, I am a hardware junkie. What is hardware? All the stuff that makes one of those a Red Sea, that's not a Red Sea, a um, mixed reef tank possible. So I'm talking about the lights, like the Hydra 32s, the AI Neros, the skimmer that's in the basement, the sump, the heaters, the return pump, all the gear, the apex, all the fun stuff that makes one of these possible. You know, otherwise it's just a glass box with water in it. You need a lot of other things to get it going. I love doing builds. So you see we do videos here in the store helping customers put together. I love product selection. Building is a lot of fun for me. Tomorrow I'm actually going to do a video shoot of a large tank here in Toronto. So come along with me, look out for that video. Love seeing, oh, if I haven't mentioned already, we're in Toronto here in Ontario and maybe you have a pretty cool reef tank in your house and you wouldn't mind me coming over. I would love, love, love to record it for our channel and I know that our viewers would love to see it. Okay, let's get into the hardware. I'm gonna start the video by saying there's a 60% chance that you who are watching right now are in the United States of America. So we don't sell to the US, so just keep that in mind. As I'm talking, I am not trying to sell you anything because I can't. 12% um, of our viewers are in the UK. What up, Reefing Fam, Cheerio. Shout out to Paul at Advanced Aquarium Consultancy. He's a wanka. Okay, 10% in Canada. So maybe to you I can sell. We are, we're pretty big here in the Canadian market. Okay, what's going on with hardware in 2022? Big releases in terms of lights. We have the Neptune Sky. Let's start from the top. Maybe we'll go to the bottom. We'll walk around the store. It's very much unscripted, but I'm in love with the skies. Too bad the lights are off here on our, bam. Red Sea Reefer 250, the softy tank. I'm using one of the skies. It's at the end of the day, it's just dimming. Awesome, awesome lights. Maybe you're looking to get in the hobby, upgrade lights. There's really only three I think you need to consider right now. It's the Neptune Sky. Yeah, aqua illumination or ecotech to a lesser extent kessel i know i'm going to get attacked in the comments there are kessel fanboys out there uh it's not for me really those are the three big ones i have actually let me show you here in the back i just got to find the space and the time where's the light uh where is this reef flare our friends from poland actually sent us this light to review i promise i'm going to do it i do see your messages it's, uh, I need somewhere to put it. It's a 30 inch light. I want to set it up and give it a shot, but I think Neptune Sky is my favorite light of this year. I'm really, really impressed with it. You get crazy coverage out of one. That's not to say that the G6s aren't good, but Mobius can suck my fat finger and go to Honduras, okay? Your Mobius stinks and I'm happy to say that. No, it doesn't make me happy because it's an expensive light and it should come without issues, but it does not <laughs> so we'll leave it at that i have a lot easier time connecting the ai stuff the neros the three the five the prime the hydras all that connect seamlessly to here i never find myself uh, 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 getting mad why am i hitting inanimate objects i never find myself getting mad at the app i can't say the same for mobius the neptune sky is super easy to control um, that's going to be my choice for light. Unless, you know what, you want something really small, hmm, sales plug. This is not bad. That's our light. That's the Halo by Reef Casa for 100 and I think 125 US. It's, it's not a bad light. Let me show you what we're doing over here in TS Tank. This is my shameless sales plug. Check it out. The proof is in the pudding. Everything is rocking. Um, where's hardware going this year? Everything is becoming smart and connected and Wi-Fi, which for better or worse, it's, it's happening. I see a lot of doser sales. So we sell a ton, a ton of dosers. And our number one doser is this one right here. It's inexpensive, it's easy to connect. Thank you Fabio for my Christmas present. He brought me a watercoloring. But behind this lovely piece of art, watch out, is the Camwar 
X1 and X1 Pro. Awesome dosing and they're small, they're easy to set up, they're inexpensive, that's $90 Canadian, so that's like $60 US. Hooks up to your phone and you can dose any sort of liquid. What I see a lot of people doing is grabbing one of these and it's weird because 10 years ago, 15 years ago, you would have thought this person was crazy, but it's very common now to be dosing nitrates and phosphates. Those are the two most popular selling ones we have here. That's Brightwell and it's a very common thing to buy on our site. I see people grab a doser along with a big bottle of that. That's something that's changed um, a lot, at least from when I started, that you did not dose nitrates. Like, it was just a constant battle towards nitrates. And now, I guess our filtration has gotten so good that we're at the point where we're trying to increase. I find myself dosing it. And what I'm experimenting with a lot this year is trace elements. So I'm using Fauna Marin. I'm giving it a shot and I'm seeing some really, really good results in this tank here. But that doesn't really have to do with hardware. In terms of flow, you gotta move water around. I'm just thinking from the top to the bottom. How are we gonna move water in the tank? You got a couple options. You could go with, these are great, inexpensive power heads. Um, Neptune makes an awesome one, which is my favorite here for the store. Can't say anything bad about the Ecotex. Uh, CJ also makes a really good one with a five-year warranty. I know the Reef Octopus makes a wave something. We don't carry it, but a uh, very good customer reviews. Man, this is embarrassing. Sorry about this. But for terms of uh, controllability and looks and performance, my favorite is the Nero. I think the Nero 5, the Nero 3, ee, we have more warranties than I would like to admit. I don't know why I'm saying that because I didn't make it. Actually, it's not my problem. But if you get a good one, they're good. But we do quite a few warranties. And again, I'm punching inanimate objects. Go with the Nero 5. I do little to none on that. It's a great pump. And I think we're going to continue to see stuff become more connected and connected to our phones because everyone is on a screen these days, except for I, the last man standing without a personal Instagram. I pride myself on that. That's a great doser too. Refugiums. I see Refugiums making a really, really big comeback. We've been selling a lot more. This is where Kessel really stands out. Their Refugium lights are bomb. The H160 and H80. And I see a lot of hobbyists setting up Refugiums um, to control and just keep nuisance algae at bay. It's like the most natural way of doing it. We do sell a couple products that work great. Chemical solutions. I usually tell people to avoid them unless you're really fed up or at your last, you know, your wit's end. This stuff works great. I'm not gonna talk about it too much in the video. This one also works good. But I see a lot of people setting up refugiums and it's kind of an old school way of doing things and it works. We don't carry any fuge reactors yet, but that would be something I'd be interested in maybe stocking somewhere here on the shelves. You see Fauna Marin got a little, little spot. We're pretty picky with what we stock here because we are very limited for room. So if I'm gonna take, if I'm gonna put something on the shelf, it's usually something we have tried and we're having good experience like Fauna right there. And then we'll start using it. Huge price increase here in Canada for Red Sea. I just, I guess it counts for hardware. It's additives. No, it is hardware because they have the reef wave. I didn't even talk about that as a thing for, as a, a way of moving water around. Their doser is really good too, but they just went up the entire line by 30%. So it is quite a large jump. It is still my favorite salt. It is the same salt we're using here in the store. That's the Red Sea Coral Pro. I don't know why I keep kicking things today, but that's our preferred salt and probably our best seller and what I usually recommend people to go with. I don't know if it's that important to go with that specific salt, but I always tell people just don't, for the love of God, don't change salts. Whatever salt you're using, just stick with it because they're so ionically different from one to another. Aquaforce makes an awesome salt too, the reef salt, but it's 100% synthetic where this is 70% evaporated from the actual Red Sea and then they go and add the, the extra 30% is made up of things they think um, your corals would love to have in the water. So it's quite a big jump to go from this or to that or to a Tropic Marin to Fritz to Instant Ocean. Just stick with whatever salt you're using and then don't bounce around based on whatever's on sale. Skimmers, I've actually started turning off my skimmer for a good portion of the day. And I think it's sort of that trend, just kind of moving towards a little bit more nutrient rich. If you have no nuisance algae in the tank, I'm getting very nice coloration. Let's see actually where our numbers are at instead of just talking out my butt like I usually do. So we have a board here in the store where we record um, some of our values. The rest are on the computer. And it looks like our 
phosphates. Oh, they've come down quite a bit. Last week we were sitting at like point one, and I'm actually very happy with that number. Nitrates 20 to 25, so this is a little bit lower than what I'd like to see these days. Uh, nobody's doing this, so let's just cross that right on out of here. But point one, and um, I used to think you had to keep it in point zero three, point zero four. We're seeing lots of cool rocks come out, so I actually wanted to do a video just on this. Somebody brought this over. They brought it in from the Philippines, and it's pretty funky stuff. I'm gonna see if I can. Oh, look at that! Hold on, let me see if I can find their Instagram so you can check it out. It is it is quite expensive to ship it here, but the shapes are unlike anything else out there. It's called Art Reef Rocks PH. I'll do a proper video on it, but if you want to check them out, Art Reef Rocks uh, PH. I guess like the PH of your wata. There's a lot of more there's a lot more options for rock these days. It's like the days of live rock are gone. No one no one uses live rock to start a tank anymore. It's 99% of the time it's Marco rock. Um, we have a couple different options here in the store. This is a new one for us, which is pretty funky. It's Carib Seas Life Rocks. And I think we're gonna see a lot more um, testing coming out in this sort of digital format. So Hannah's caught on to that and now they have the magnesium checker which the first round was absolutely F word. I'm not gonna swear because I know some kids are watching this channel. Josie, if you're watching, I'm not swearing for you. This is just not very good the first round. They've, they've since fixed them. We now have the ammonia checker. Um, the alkalinity is still my favorite, followed by the get this one. There's like four different phosphate checkers. This is the one. Marine phosphorus ULR parts per billion. That's the one you want. Not the low range, not the other one. That one. Auto top offs keep getting smaller and smaller and smaller. I think these guys are coming out with a whole new model next year. I don't know if I'm supposed to say that. Hmm, let's see if I'll get in trouble. These guys are coming out with a whole new model next year. So that should be cool to see, but they just keep getting tinier and tinier and tinier. It's sort of the trend for the entire hobby. It's sort of like the nano zization is that a word? The small of the honey I shrunk the kids of reef tanks. This was not a thing when I started. You didn't keep a 10 gallon or five gallon, maybe as a, no, not even as a hobby, not even as on the side, no, nobody did this. This wasn't a thing. Reef tank started at 50 gallons and up, and 40 to 50 gallons was considered a nano reef. 50 to 60 now is considered not nano. Like that's what we considered nano, was a Red Sea reef for 250. 100 gallon was the standard. At those days are long gone. Our standard, our most popular tank that we sell here in the store is this one that we're sold out of, is our Reef Casa 24 gallon. Um, yeah, I, they're gone. They were gone very quick, selling less and less of larger tanks. And I think that's just as it becomes feasible to keep things on a smaller scale as people's homes get smaller. A lot of people here live in Toronto. Uh, if you don't know about Toronto, like downtown is like New York. People live in very small apartments and spaces that are premium, just like it is in the store. And we're forced to have maybe smaller, cuter tanks like this, but I like them. You know what? They're intimate. Look how nice this little Pico's looking. We have a frogfish that we added. His name is Gucci, and I am romantically involved with it. I don't see him right now. He's hiding. Hmm. Uh, he's gone. We're starting to see more controllers, which is kind of cool. There's the Hydros from Coral View. I have little to no experience, but I'd love to learn more. And maybe even one day, give them a little corner here next to Neptune. Uh, I know if my friend Tom at Neptune is hearing this, he is going to put a gun to my head. But they offer some cool things. Like what, from what I see, they look pretty cool. I really want to try the Mastertronic. You know what? The one that tests phosphate and nitrate automatically. Mm, what else for hardware? With Aperture coming in and gobbling up all these brands, uh, there's less competition, which I think is not really the best. When these two companies were separate, it was always a battle, you know, between the two brands. It was kind of like BMW versus Mercedes, or let's say Lamborghini versus Ferrari, and it would keep them on the edge of innovation. But now that they're all sort of owned by one company, I think it kills a little bit of that. So for better or for worse, that's the way it is. We're watching T5 bulbs come to an end, even in my own use. I've taken down the two we were running over there on our SPS tank. I've changed them over to Radeon G6 Blues. I'm super impressed. I'm getting the same color as I was getting on T5. My mind has changed on them. Um, the acros look awesome. The, the growth is there, the color's there. They've come a long, long way. I was very hesitant to try growing strictly SPS under Radions, but after a couple trips to Worldwide Corals and more importantly Top Shelf Aquatics, 
Uh, that really changed my mind watching. They, they're still using T5 and Halide, of course, in some instances, but they had a hundred and something of these running, and it's just remarkable what they're doing with them. There's a lot more um, going on than just uh, the lights. So as these leave, we will not be restocking them. They're going to become a special order item, very shoddy, ATI. And I'm going to move Ecotech. I know this isn't really hardware review related, but I'm kind of just... Um, talking to you at this point. It's becoming a little vloggy. I'm gonna move all of Ecotech over here and Neptune which is encroaching because these bananas keep coming out with these massive boxes I'm gonna switch them because the products just take way more space and I'm gonna do a new orange banner maybe backlit from our friends over here at uh, Bulk Reef Supply is what it says on there, but the sign is made locally by a shop And I wish I had this one glue that I found at Macna. It's called SeaTac. I'm still waiting for my sample because if I had it in my hands that would be probably one of the highlights of this video here is this really really funky new glue slash epoxy that just sets super super quick okay if you guys have any questions about setting up one of these picking hardware i don't know what kind of overflow or march what kind of skimmer do i need or what's the best light shoot us an email it's fragboxcorals at gmail.com we're happy to give you unsolicited and free reefing advice if you're in Toronto come on by if you're in Canada you can check out our site fragbox.ca or if you're looking for a small tank like one of these reefcasa.com is one ship internationally and I think that is it tomorrow's video I will touch on oh no we're gonna go shoot the uh, the big tank so maybe the one after that I'll do a recap on my favorite coral of the year for 2022 and maybe blabber a little bit kind of like we did in this video and check out these we have so many of these nice um, Dr. Fuzzies. I'll talk about where I see corals going and I keep so excited because I'm going to book my flights to Indo I think this weekend um, over the New Year's break so I can't wait to take you guys with me. Sorry I'm just fiddling over here because I see an issue and that's it. If you guys like the video, if you like the content, give me one of these and subscribe or oh, there's a little button I think right down there you get it da ding, so you'll know when Fragbox TV releases a new episode, which have been pretty, you know what, I'm going to say, pretty often um, recently. And that's it, guys. Have a very nice day or afternoon or maybe even a morning, wherever you're watching from. Never stop reefing. Goodbye for now.